Kuti appeals against assault conviction, sentencing. Opposition figure Tendai Bite has lodged an appeal with the High Court challenging his recent conviction and sentencing. Bite, a former finance minister, was found guilty by Harori magistrate Vongai Muchichuti of verbally assaulting Tatiana Elishina, a Russian national, following a full trial. Despite the conviction, Bite avoided imprisonment and was instead fined for the offense. Maintaining his innocence, Bitti contended that the allegations against him did not constitute criminal behavior and should have warranted a warning or caution instead. He also expressed remorse to Alishina, affirming that he never intended to cause her harm. In his appeal, Bitti argued that the magistrate erred in convicting him. He highlighted discrepancies in the interpretation of assault laws particularly citing Section 88 of the Criminal Law Codification and Reform Act, which, he asserted, invalidated the charge of assault by word or gesture. Furthermore, Bitter criticized his sentence as excessive, deeming it shock-inducing given the trivial nature of the offense. He urged the High Court to either quash the sentence or refer the matter to the Constitutional Court to determine if his constitutional rights were infringed. Alternatively, Bitte proposed that if his conviction were upheld, the High Court impose a reduced fine of 100 US dollars or its equivalent in Zimbabwean dollars at the official rate. The appeal is pending a hearing. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.